Hi guys, I'm back with another Loop Plus quick tip, and today I'd like to look at a feature of the Big Kick plugin from Plugin Boutique that many of you may not be aware of. If you're familiar with this plugin, you'll know that it's a great plugin for generating kick drums. It comes with a fantastic selection of stock kicks, and you can tweak all of those kicks to your heart's content with these sections here. You can also import your own kicks. A great feature of the plugin is that once you've dialed in a kick, Using this drop-down menu here, you can tune it to the key of your track. If you've never tuned your kick to the key of your track, I recommend you try that. It can make a huge difference. So now looking at a feature that you might not be aware of, Big Kick, in addition to being able to generate some great kicks, can also generate some great, really bottom-heavy bass or sub-bass sounds. To get into sort of editing and creating one of those sounds, you want to click on the Edit button here once you've got a kick selected. And once that's open, you'll see this drop-down menu here. By default, that's going to be set to Fixed. But if you change that to MIDI, essentially what you've done is make the kick chromatically playable on your keyboard. So as I play this Freemason's kick up and down the keyboard, you'll hear it change. Okay, so this is a great place to start making our sub bass sound. One of the first things you might want to do is pull off the punch. That'll take out the initial attack of that kick. You can already start to hear that sound a little bit more bassy. Uh, you might want to turn the high shelf down here as well, just to take even more of that initial transient sort of high-end click out of it. And that's a start. And then once again, you can also turn up this high pass here to take out even more of that initial click from the original kick. Okay, that sounded good. I might also bring this cut down a little bit just to bring more of that out. Okay, now we can get out of this section here, now that we've started to create something that's sort of sub bassy I'll move on into these sections here. One of the things you probably are going to want to do with your bass sound is turn up the decay a little bit, give it a little bit more length. And that's starting to sound very good to me. And then lastly, you might want to mess around a little bit with some of the stuff in here. The start time on the deep, if you bring that down, will make it sound even a little bit more bassy. So there you go. Out of a kick, we've quickly generated something that can fatten up the bottom end, sit in nicely with our original kick, and serve as a nice sub-bass to our track. So that's today's Loop Plus quick tip. I hope you found it useful and thanks for tuning in.